I waved goodbye to my friends as I stepped off the bus and headed to my house. I was super excited to get home and see my parents. They hadn't talked much at all yesterday. As a matter of fact, they just stayed in their bedroom all day. They haven't been feeling well. I ran up the stairs of the front porch and swung the front door open with a big, cheesy grin on my face. However, when I opened the door, there was no one in the den. The television was off, and the house seemed to be abnormally quiet. I took a step in and started calling out. Mom! Dad! I called. I knew they were supposed to be here. Dad had a day off, and Mom didn't have any plans with her girlfriends until next week, right? I placed my backpack on the ground next to the couch and walked into the kitchen to check the calendar. October 5th. I was right. Dad took his day off, so him and Mom go see a movie together. They've got to be here somewhere. Thought to myself. Then it hit me. School it out early today because of a busted water pipe. I look at the watch on my wrist. It's only 12 o'clock. They may still be sleeping. I headed back to the den and slowly opened their bedroom door. Surely enough, there they lie. A sigh of relief escaped my mouth and my grin returned. I tiptoed over to my mom's side of the bed and pulled the covers back. I was greeted with the same sight as the day before. She lay there motionless, eyes glazed over, mouth agape. Her skin was a pale white, and her hair was beginning to thin. The soup I gave her yesterday sat on the bedside table. It was stale now, and she hadn't even touched it. I'm beginning to think they don't want to feel better. I placed the cover on the bed, and the whole soup, and left the room slowly. psychology home we're doing this paper with people who have some type of disorder causing them to live in denial of even some of the most obvious things I couldn't imagine living like